Hello everyone and welcome back to the modded Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. We're doing a random run. Let's get this show on the road. Got ourselves a Samson run today. That's okay. Samson is A-okay. Here's a seed for you. 7QM9, BSC, and Seto. What does this mean for us? Uh, it means that a run has started. And now we must make our way through it. Blank card is dope. A uh, good spacebar item. Happy to have it early. Obviously, we need some cards, some runes, stuff along those lines to really make this a big positive for us. But the chances of Blank Card uh, paying out with something valuable on this run, I'd say it's pretty high. I mean, Blank Card is just one of those items. It's good. I, that's really all there is to say with it. Uh, and I'm happy to have it early on here. How are you guys doing? I'm doing okay. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, it's like really cold in my room, so I'm talking funny. <laughs> I'm like shivering over here and I have no idea why it's so freaking cold. It's like 85 degrees outside. The AC is just like beyond anything that I've ever felt with AC before in my life. Either that or I'm getting sick, which is probably also a possibility, but hashtag YOLO swag. We'll be fine here. We're hoping to get some, uh, at least some interesting modded stuff today. I don't need good modded stuff you know you want to give me the crappiest run ever hit me with your best shot fire away pat benatar up in here up in here uh but just give me a fun run is all i ask also make it where whatever just happened right there never happens ever again we do walk away with the spirit heart uh and frankly we're probably still at full hp as well it's hard to really tell with the current situation i think you play this three times maybe four and that puts us in a position where our shop is now valuable do i have any idea what our hp is at that's a good question uh no i don't but we're gonna take this red heart and then we're gonna come back in here we're gonna play this two more times bing bang boom mr worldwide is a step in the room and then we move on and and i think a lot of people are going to be like, wow, Tyler's min-maxing uh, Isaac this early on on the run. I think it's valuable, honestly, at this point. Uh, Steam Sale is a huge benefit for our run. Uh, we now have like three, maybe four Spirit Hearts as well, uh, which is a good amount of HP for the next floor. And we also have uh, really high damage because of Samson's beautiful bloody lust right now so this ragman fight that could have been incredibly more difficult uh all of a sudden becomes an absolute cakewalk and we can enjoy our day pick up some hp we now have at least two more hearts so you know what i i, I really do the min maxing i don't know why i'm feeling it today but it's worth it to play this uh the four more times here and get some extra money i mean we can play a blood bank on the next floor uh, in an arcade, get up to 15 cents, uh, and then we're just going to be able to really take advantage of our shop on this run, and it'll be very useful. Somehow I actually did manage to successfully count the number of red hearts I needed, I think. Maybe not. Maybe I took, like, half a spirit heart away. All I know is I'm pretty content with, uh, that situation right there. And I'm also very intrigued by this, uh, room here. What the hell is this? octans 45 degree tiers so this occasionally will fire out tiers in the 45 degree angles yeah there we go okay uh, i like it i don't know if it's affected by luck but if it is i would love to get a hefty luck upgrade on this run and get ourselves some wacky triple shotty type stuff going on i do want to go into the double key room it's just i want to have a key for our shop at this stage of the game just because i feel like that's a little bit more important than possibly like you know a reroll room or something like that so this is good though uh we will be able to get the deal with the devil and frankly we should probably try to get into that double key room before the deal with the devil because if it happens to be a full run reroll and we do it because you know we're us I want to at least have the deal with the devil items as a possible saving grace uh, when they give me hell on earth uh, on the re-roll. So, 
And there's also a chance we might not even get the reroll, which is also somewhat likely. I'm gonna buy the key. There's nothing really else in here that I care about. And then keep in mind that you got blank card. All you need is a card to really benefit your run, and then you're gonna be sitting pretty. We do need this key though. Okay, let's go back. Double key room. Part of me does not want a full run reroll because I really do like this uh, run that we got right now. But we'll see what happens. Not a full run reroll. Instead, just a ton of consumables and stuff like that. Uh, honestly, very good for us. So here's what you do now. You go, you check and see if there's an arcade. I don't think there's going to be. It's a cursed room. I think you go in the cursed room, honestly. We have a plentiful amount of HP at this stage of the game, and there's no way this will ruin the deal with the devil chance. So come in here. Guppy items? Guppy nothing, okay. I mean, that was poor, I will say. We also now realize that our secret room was adjacent the entire time, and life sucks, and then you die. But we'll take the uh, tinted rock here. Two more spirit hearts. It's just stupid at this point. Uh, keys back from going into our room there, and we get five cents. It, this is a really good start to a run. I can't say it's a really good run, because we don't have you know, the keys to the kingdom that we need to really pop off here. But we have, like, you know, we've gotten the appetizer on this five-course meal. You know, and we know that there's more to come. We just have to, like, not eat all the food at once so we don't die before we get to dessert. You know, dessert will come. But right now I'm waiting for my soup and salad. It's gonna come right after we fight this boss. There's the first part. It's like, this is the crappy soup. Then they bring out the real soup, and you're like, oh yeah, this is the good soup. So then you take these, you take the pact, and then you're going to have HP on the next floor as well because of the eternal heart. And frankly, I, I, I feel really, really good about our current setup here. I wish, I, I hope that we get some kind of extra tier effect on this run, because that's really the one thing we're missing at this point. We got the damage, we got the tiers. I mean, we don't really have the damage 4.9 is not incredible just yet but we need something to just make me go damn this run is fun cool wacky strange you know i don't know if it's the luck upgrade to make uh octans pop more i don't even know if it's affected by luck i don't know what it is we need but i have faith the run will give it to us and that's something you don't hear me say often we also, we added another mod uh, to the pack, and it is Mad Dogs' uh, Bank Shot Resprite, which basically takes the new pop item and changes the eyeballs back to Billiard Balls, which I loved in the original mod, uh, and I think that it will look a lot better for us. And it reminds me of the old mod, and since this is a modded series, uh, I might as well rock with kind of the old mod kind of thing there. So, we, we're doing that. We do have an incredible defensive item in Dark Bum. I don't think it's hard for anybody to disagree that Dark Bum is pretty legit. Now, obviously, it makes the run almost too easy. And I say that not trying to sound cocky, but picking up Dark Bum kind of won us the run, in all seriousness. You know, I feel like I'm good enough as an Isaac player, and I know that the entire comment section is going to be, oh, cocky little son of a gun. I hate him so much. He's the worst one. HP uphill as well. Uh, but I feel confident enough with my Isaac abilities. I've played the game for over 600 hours. I'm pretty certain that I can win a run if I'm getting a spirit heart like every three rooms or something like that. It's like having a not as consistent relic, which is also very good. I'm not talking about the moderator in the discord my good friend. So, I think you continue to take pills. Pills have been good for us. It's a power pill. Pills have, you know, continue to be good for us. Power pill is an okay uh, pill to know and have. It was an incredible shot by that guy. You can't even fault him. It's just good play by the enemy here. Almost a good play by the enemy right there, too. Okay, you, you, no, you know what? Uh, I'd prefer if you stopped having good plays, though. Item room contains Cursed Heart, which genuinely makes Dark Bum absolutely useless now. We can get more options, that's okay. C 
Cursed Heart may not have been the best play for us, in all honesty. Uh, I appreciate the damage up from it. You know, obviously that's very good. But we basically ruined our ability for Dark Bomb to ever be useful for us on this run. And Blank Card World uh, basically now guarantees we're going to make it to Boss Rush on this one. And with something like Blank Card, uh, you can imagine we're going to get a Teleport Card sometime soon. So overall, uh, pretty positive floor so far. A Tears upgrade or a Damage upgrade from the boss would really bring us to a state in which I feel incredible about the run. Now something like a Magic Mush would put us over the top, but I'm not asking for Magic Mush here. That's a little bit much. A Syringe would be perfect. HP. Not the best. No deal with the Devil. Uh, rightfully so. It was only a 33% chance. 67 on this floor. I will check out the uh, double key room. And I will crack into these as well. A lot of money is okay. Uh, we got a crawl space in the room. Didn't even see that at first. Uh, so thanks a ton for that. And we got a tinted rock. Just a good room, man. Spirit heart. What do we got down here? Not really a whole lot of anything, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, and a tears down on top of it. It's just really bad. So kind of sucks but i still love these new crawl spaces i wish there was a mod that added the new crawl space or a uh, booster pack that added the new crawl spaces in because they really are uh very cool that's a revamp special rooms mod really one of my favorite mods on the workshop does a lot to make the game just a little bit different a little bit nicer add some extra special rooms and really uh, change some of the key rooms that we uh, have come to love and adore on runs. But anyway, we can see where we're going. More options? We didn't talk about it, but more options is a great pickup for us. Just makes our item rooms that much more uh, important for us. I also think you blow up this. We know a lot of good pills, so I figured it's worth a shot. And a luck upgrade is actually awesome. We now have five luck. And it appears like we're firing out the Octans a lot more. So I have a feeling it is actually based on your luck stat. Or at least, you know, somewhat dependent on your luck stat. Which is good to know. Now, I would love to see something like uh, Double Shot, Triple Shot show up on this run. So we can get some weird, like, five-tier setups going on occasionally. Cursed Rooms have been real bad. And by Cursed Rooms, I definitely just mean, like any red chests have been absolutely horrible on this run which is hard for me to be happy about that you know you'd expect at least one guppy item one regular item spirit hearts anything like that instead it's just been hot garbage but that's okay we get black lotus all right, all right, all right. I mean, it's hard for me to sit here and be like, that's bad. We'll take Liberty Cap because the other thing literally does nothing for us now. Because we don't get any hearts anyway. Dark Bum, you're along for the ride at this point, man. Enjoy your day off. It's been a while since I've seen your pretty face. Uh, and now that I have it back in my arms again, uh, you just, you're useless. And I'm sorry. I, mean, I know that Dark Bum usually, he wants to be useful, but... Today is not his day, honestly. And that's all it boils down to. This room ended up being a cakewalk. The fact that we got a pretty good... I mean, I know we got a tears down pill. Our rate of fire is still above par here. I mean, we're sitting at like a birdie. Maybe an eagle in terms of our DPS on this run. You know, just a couple of keys would really be beautiful. But apparently that is just... Far too much to ask for. I don't blame you. I understand. The economy's tough nowadays. Keys are hard to come by. I do think you go to... I mean, do you go to the shop in the hopes of buying a key in there and then getting other benefit out of it? I think you do. Of course, there's no key for sale, but there is a reroll thing. The Empress, we don't really care about. Let's reroll. Oh, I just rerolled past restock. I hate myself. Pandora's box will give us a little Steven. We'll take uh, the key here. That allows us to now crack a lack on our 
Item room, I will take this as well. I will take this as well. Continue this journey. I will take Cornucopia. I don't really think we need 9 volt. I am intrigued with the thought of Crooked Penny in our item room if the items are not like 10 out of 10 must take items, which they're not. So, uh, yeah, you know what? If we could have gotten all of them, it would have been awesome, but instead, I'm content with this. We are going to pick back up Blank Card, though, and then we're going to walk on out of here. And you know what? I'm going to take the time, blow this guy up, a little extra deal with the Devil Chance. It would be nice to have one on this uh, floor here. I think it would benefit us greatly. Let's get this shot on the road. We got a big Gertie. Gertie ain't a problem, honestly. It ain't no Mama Gertie, who is the queen of being BS with RNG. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. Deal with the Devil 72. Almost, you know, four, not four fifths, three fourths chance of a deal with the Devil. Give it to me. You gotta be kidding me. We get paint bombs. Which just having extra bombs is nice, in all honesty. But we'll just head on down. It's no big deal. I'm only upset a little bit. And we get our beautiful cornucopia play at the beginning. I don't think so. Power pill. Wait, we can hold two things now. I forgot about that. Deep pockets is a beautiful uh, addition to our run here as well. Place that bad boy down. Hangman. Yeah. I don't think so. Honestly. Don't see a good reason to hold on to that right now. So otherwise, just uh, get through here. I mean, Steam Sale would have been awesome for us. Another HP up. And sure, I, I'll, I'll risk this. Yeah, I mean, we knew that that was going to end poorly. Buttons rarely ever give me anything that I'm like, oh yeah, I'm happy about this. This is one of the weirdest rooms I've ever been in. What the hell is this room? I've never, ever seen this in my life. Honestly. It's very strange. I don't know what to think about it. We're going to have a crap load of money. That's for damn certain. And we are going to take the time to blow this guy up. He's going to give us another nickel. I like it. We have no reason to go up there. I'd rather just try to... Uh, Still make it to boss rush. We ended up slowing down a little bit despite having full mapping on these floors. And I don't know if it's just my damage is not as good as I originally thought or what it is. But boss rush is still something I would love to accomplish on this run. And I don't want to do it. I just want to teleport out of it. But we definitely want to ensure we make it to our item rooms and shop on each floor. Shops have been borderline incredible for us. Uh, on this run. We've gotten a lot of great helper items from our shop. Uh, and we could have had something even better if we got restock. Uh, and I just happened to click the wrong button, essentially. Orbital or finger? I think the orbital is better for us. And it gives us the mom transformation. So you know what? Uh, that seems like a good play to me. Let's get to our shop. Then let's get to our dealio with the devilio. Got a 100% chance at it. I mean, we're going to get it. There's no way I get hit enough in this room to merit any pain, suffering, and otherwise uh, undistinguishable pain, death, horrid uh, suffering anywhere. Okay, this shop sucked. Uh, take this. The devil, the devil. It's your final devil. Still waiting for a good time to use power pill. I actually think a lot of people are going to be like, Tyler, why? I want to get to these guys. And they didn't give me any cards. Okay. Still looking for that teleport card. Is the main thing here. And that almost hurt. But it didn't. So suck on my... You know what. What do we got here? Emperor, that's a teleport magician. Okay, we stick with Emperor and World. A little bit of mapping. A little bit of teleporting. And blank card Emperor is super good for the womb as well. I'm not trying to turn this into a speed run, but you can't deny going through the womb in the span of a couple seconds instead of five minutes is a much more enjoyable time. Let's fight the boss, and then we honestly can uh, just hightail it to the boss on the next floor by pressing the Emperor card. But I don't think that's necessarily 
uh, what we should do. We get Blood Clot, and then we get Sack Dagger, which I think is good. And then we'll just head down, we'll pop the world, try to make it to our item room and shop, uh, but you also gotta understand that might be a little bit difficult, especially with this room setup. Floor setup. Thing setup. If we just got a teleport card that took me out of the boss room, then we would be totally in the clear here, but for now, this will have to do. And I realize right now I don't even have a, uh, there's no good reason for me to be wanting to go to boss rush. Our shops have been so good, we should just be doing that, but, oh, piercing tears is a must. I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's the way. We'll cut through a secret room. Uh, secret room contains another super greed fight. I feel like I fought this guy 28 times on this run. And then we can't cheat our way into that room, which is unfortunate. Sag Dagger does allow me to move fast. You know, gotta go fast right now. It's also ruining my chances of a uh, off chance the old devil. But who's counting? The damage bonus we're getting from... Uh, Samson's starting item, Bloody Lust, is also super nice, but I'm looking at the clock. You know, to say that I'm not a little bit concerned about our boss rush chances, I'd be lying. I don't know why I even took the time to run in there and take the ladder, but sure. Beautiful. Couldn't have planned it better myself. I don't even care about the chest anymore. Uh, I'm going to make my way to boss rush, and I'm going to enjoy it. You, you don't understand. You need you need to die. Okay, like, are you actually kidding me, though? Thank you very much. We should be able to beat Mom in under a minute. If we can't, then I'm just honestly ashamed of myself a little bit. Especially Blue Mom, we should be A-OK -okay here. Yeah, well, I mean, we're gonna be fine. Slam in there. No deal with the devil. It's okay. We'll take the Polaroid. Come in here. Um, it's been a while since I played with Ipecac, but I think you gotta take the room. Rune? This is Columba. And this makes all the enemies freeze at the beginning of the room, right? I think so. So that's fine. Just head down. Uh, probably should have taken Ipecac. Probably would have been a bit more fun, a bit more interesting. But what are you gonna do? The Crack Crown just came out of Cornucopia. So don't mind me as I run back and take what is arguably the best trinket in the game. And then we will take this. We no longer care about the world, in all honesty, so I'm going to do this. Gives us a Loki fight. Loki's fine. I would love it to deal with the devil here. We'll at least get one more. Since we get a 100% chance on the next floor if we don't get one here. And sadly, I mean, I hate to say it, but our damage is really not that good on this run. You know, 7.03 with one hit of the thing, Pentagram will help. And a deal with the devil will probably help, except for when it's trash. I'll take the flight. I know that our HP is starting to look a little sketch, but I think it's still fine for right now. Every little thing is going to be alright, don't you worry. We are going to go back and grab our Cornucopia stuff here. Because that's a lot of good stuff, honestly. And you know what? Emperor card right here sounds absolutely splendid. Just get me through the womb. The womb is one thing I really couldn't care much less about. There is a man there. Did we kill it? I think we killed it. And this fight should go relatively easily. Piercing Shots is low-key, like, one of the better items we could have gotten here. It's the tier effect that I wanted at the beginning. You know, that I said we needed another tier effect. We got it uh, in the form of Cupid's Arrow here. And now just dodge these shots in slow motion. Beautiful. Uh, is the Hush Fight something I'm interested in? Sure, why not? Seems like the stupidest idea ever, so why not do it? That's what I always say. We got three chests down here. We also got uh, some more stuff from that stuff. 
We get a very tiny Bob's brain that, in all seriousness, I think I'm just going... Oh, a Joker card is huge. Uh, I think... First pop the Joker. Take this. Take this. Pop it once. Leave your friends behind, because your friends don't dance, and if they don't dance... Then they have no friends of mine. We'll take that. You come in here first. You take Compound Fracture. Then you come over here. You take Nine Inch Nails. Then you come in here. And you go, okay, sure, the compass. You Blank Rune. Bob's Brain. You get a tears up and a damage up from it. Then you buy the key. You buy the card. You buy the pill. And then you donate as much money as you can. A lot of people may disagree with how I did things there. Uh, I think that was a positive for us in many different ways, honestly. We get another luck upgrade from donating. If you want to keep on giving me luck upgrades and allowing me to donate, that'd be awesome. Compound Fracture 9 Inch Nails is no joke, man. Uh, and neither is Rotten Baby. I mean, that's a good item for us. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, this this is this is good. Th this is very good. The lag is not as good, but this, this whole scenario is very good. Come in here. It's crawl space time. And if you just want to give me one, that's all I'm looking for. Don't even need a black market. Just a normal crawl space will do. We got the bombs to search, so we might as well do it. It's looking less and less likely. Give me one more chance. Well, that's okay. Hope for the best. Honestly. We may die here. We might not. I'm gonna hope we don't. But we might. I understand it's a little laggy. That's what happens when you have compound fractured uh, quintuple shot. But... Overall, it's hard for me to sit here and go, this is a bad setup. We're going to be dealing damage like it's our freaking job once Big Hush comes out. And on the next floor, uh, if we ever live to see the day, we're going to be dealing damage like it is nobody's job. And yeah, this is honestly a very good setup. I do not want to be fighting Hush right now. I do want to point that out. I feel like this is a mild death sentence. Uh, but what we got out of this floor is enough to make this worth it. If we don't die. Even if we come down with one heart on the next floor. I think this was worth it. Plus we got a fun run. You know. This is this is a cool one. Quintuple uh, compound fracture. How can I be mad? Okay about one sixth of the way through the fight. Could be worse. Could clearly be better as well but. It could definitely be worse. We're really able to just fire, and everything's going to melt in front of our very eyes. Because we got so many shots coming out. It is difficult to see these little flies, but it's neither here nor there. You just can't get hit on the easy waves right now. If you're going to get hit, it's got to be beams of light and stuff. Like, that's just bad damage right there. Get in there with Sack Dagger a little bit. About halfway done, which is not the end of the world. It's okay. We got a death card. I honestly, like, I see no good reason to ever pop this death card. But, you know what? There. You happy? It did nothing. It weakened these flies the tiniest amount. Which I suppose is okay. This run would actually be better without piercing tears. This fight, at least, would be better without Piercing Tears. Because all the bones would split on Hush and then deal more damage. But I'm not going to push my luck. I'm pretty happy with this. I'm going to try and get my dodge on down here. Probably the dumbest idea I've ever had since we're kind of trapped now. But let's get our FPS back up. It's beautiful. 60 frames per second is a fun time. You know what? Throw in some paint bombs. Get the floor nice and pretty. 
I love me a nice pretty floor. Pretty floor? Mmm, floor pretty it is. Anyway, uh, we'll continue to fight this guy. We're about, I don't know, four-fifths of the way done. I know you people probably hate fractions. You're probably some of those people that are like, Ugh, fractions suck. I want to put all my answers in decimals. Do you also enjoy pain and suffering as well? This is where we can't get hit. Do not hit me, my young friend. We are not hit. We are instead just very happy. Thank you. We're so close. Beams of light. They're going to be annoying. Just evade them long enough. We got hit. Okay. We're doing fine. Doing fine. Happy to live. You gotta... You can't... Oh, no. This, this is where I go. I can't evade these this long. This is where I die. You can't do this to me. I don't know how. I also don't know why. You can't hide the devil inside. I don't know how in the world I did that. But sure, I'll accept it. Up to the cathedral we go. Oh, Lord. I need some water, man. I don't know what the hell that hush fight was. The end of it could have uh, ended a little bit better, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, I am also going to grab this, grab this, and then enjoy the fact that I'm now alive. Ace of clubs? Uh, yeah, you know what? Give me one bomb. Thanks a ton for your time. I, I actually don't care about any of those. What we are going to do, though, is come into this room. I, I don't need that trinket. Come into this room, crack into these, get nothing out of it, pop the fool, and then there's a large part of me that wants to just use the Emperor card right now. Like, is that is that frowned upon? Because I don't really want to fight any of these rooms, and I know that you all be mad if I use the Emperor on the chest when we have 9 luck. So you know what? Yeah, screw it. I'm gonna do it. Anybody that disagrees can fight me. I'll be uh, outside in the alley, 9 o'clock. Come find me. No weapons. Just our bare fists and words. And we're gonna be a-okay here. The hush fight was really our only chance of, like, dying on this run. Otherwise, I, I feel fairly confident and our abilities to deal enough damage to beat some bosses, uh, and then finally beat Blue Baby. So give me some kind of fantastic synergy, uh, or the D4 or something like that. What do you got? Curse of the Tower. Loki's Horns. Toxic Liquid thing. I mean, they're all just okay, honestly. Nothing that uh, puts me over the top, although this is actually phenomenal. So never mind. Uh, it's actually beautiful. Loki's Horns is so much better than I expected because of the fact that we have nine luck and we're really just firing out shots at all angles forever and ever so you know if you need me i'll be enjoying this we get a little chad not really enjoying that in all honesty monstro i don't even know why you tried man you're very cute so i'm sorry that you had to experience this but rip in pepperonis range up I've never wanted a range up more in my life. This is the game changer. This range up pill. Good night to those guys. Uh, don't take that yet. Wait one more room. Get a full charge. Not that we need it. I mean, do you see the run? We're clearing stuff out like it's our freaking job. Like it's our freaking job. Ele freaking job. Okay, come in here. Pop this. So much HP will never die. Famous last words, right? No, seriously, we're never going to die. We're probably not even going to get hit for the rest of the run. That's just kind of how this is. Except I, my eyes failed to see this guy coming at me. So I almost got hit, but I still didn't. It's too easy, man. It's just too easy. Is this Chubb? Yeah, it's Chubb. Rest in peace to Chubb, too. That was odd. His health bar did not state that he was in the... Uh, 
current state that he was. Rip. It's just too easy. This uh, Columba item is really freaking good, man. Freeze all the enemies for like 10 seconds at the start of each uh, room. It's so good. Get ourselves a demon baby. I'm surprised we didn't get the conjoined transformation. Actually, we probably did. Did we get the conjoined transformation? I just did not see. Because that would explain why we're firing out like so many shots right now. Ow. It's fairly beautiful. I will say that. Is there a boss fight over here? Yeah, it is. Okay, we're good. We good. We full of plenty. Yeah, come down here. Just stand on this guy. Okay, maybe, maybe not. Curse of the Tower is basically the hello, welcome to lag item for us. And now you're going to give me hot bombs on top of it. Sure, why not? Let's get this show on the road. It was a good run. I enjoyed it. All we really need to do is stand here. Uh, and Blue Baby is just honestly going to have the worst time of his life. Friggin' rip in pieces, dude. Uh, great run. If you enjoyed, remember to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with you in two days with another modded series video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!